In today's Celtic FC news on the, the 19th of February 2022. Bolingoli could be days away from Celtic exit. Are millennial Celtic fans, spoiled or entitled to demand more from the club? Defiant Celtic FC manager, sends clear Celtic message after Bodo glimped humbling. And Scott Brown with premiership vacancy. Celtic defender Bolingoli could be on the verge of an exit from the club, Football Insider reports. The outlet believes that Bolingoli is in talks with Russian Premier League FCU for about a loan move abroad, after Celtic gave him the green light to pursue a switch. Bolingoli made two starts for Celtic this season, out of necessity but hasn't featured in a match squad since December even as an unused substitute. Both Greg Taylor and Liam Scales are ahead of him in the boys' pecking order with Angie no doubt preferring an out-of-position Josip Juranovic to him as well. The manager made it clear at the end of January that there could be some fringe players moving on from the club even after the Scottish transfer window shut. Russia's transfer window shuts on Tuesday, so UFA have until then to complete their business. Are millennial Celtic fans, spoiled or entitled to demand more from the club? A very valid question that has no simple answer to be candid. On the one hand, Celtic FC have dominated since the turn of the century, having won 15 out of a possible 22 championships since the millennium. No mean feat at all. However, it has to be countered by the fact that over the past decade there has been a stark downturn in success against European opposition. The no knockout phase win since 2004 a case in point. Once a gaint killer of epic proportions, now a bottom feeder in the lowly depths of the European tournament. There is no denying there has been a correlation between the wealth of the top five leagues and our decline on the big stage of Europe. With more and more dished out and carved up amongst the elite, so is there equally less and less scraps for the bigger clubs from small TV market pool countries. The Super League idea that came to the fore and sparked outrage within the game was an indication and an arbiter for the inherent greed within the sport of football. We ultimately suffer as a club when plans like these are discussed and then executed. Something of this nature definitely awaits in the pipeline, making a hard task nigh on impossible. Older generations tend to argue about the dark days, of the early 90s when we were on the brink of collapse. That is a true point all in all, but I'm not sure it's entirely relevant to the argument about progression in European football in 2022. Fair enough, the younger generations, didn't have to endure that episode in our history, but it doesn't mean, they should just be thankful they have a team to go and watch, should it? Are we to just remain in ignominy, as far as European competition goes? It's not a solid argument in my opinion. There is also the salient point about the fanbase as whole though when it comes to looking at this question. Overall, a lot of Celtic fans are happy to just be ahead of the Ibrox club, past and present, which in itself creates difficulty in trying to demand more from our custodians. It leads to a deeper and more profound, but ultimately dangerous question, do Celtic need any form of an Ibrox footballing operation to remain purposeful? I am unequivocally in the no camp on this one, just to be absolutely clear. Celtic will always be relevant because it exemplifies the enduring human spirit. What others do should be of no consequence to where we wish to be as a football club and a community. I stand by that statement. It was as relevant in 2012 as it is now. Shamefully our directors don't feel the same, as referenced by the five-way agreement. Due to this then, there is an argument to be had, that our parochial mindset at the boardroom level, and beyond at times needs to be eradicated. Younger fans should be entitled to ask why we are continually using our neighbours as the yardstick, instead of measuring up against teams like Ajax, RB Salzburg, FC Porto, and others of a similar background. No one is asking to win the Champions League, but perhaps equipping the manager and the footballing department with the necessary tools to establish ourselves as a decent European team once again is not an unreasonable demand. Tell me in the comments what you think and I will post this video on JPS Twitter. 
Celtic manager Angie insists that Thursday night's humbling at the hands of Norwegian champions Bodo Glimt is an opportunity for his players. Celtic slipped to a 3-1 defeat in the UEFA Europa Conference League knockout stages, giving the boys a bit of a mountain to climb next week in Norway. However, Angie is focused on Sunday's domestic test first and foremost. The Celtic FC manager went on to say, said, it's never going to be smooth. It was never going to be smooth for us this year. It's just another challenge for us. We've had plenty this year. As I've said all along, there's not this wave of momentum that people think. Football always has a way of making sure you keep focused one way or another. The result on Thursday gives us an opportunity to show how we respond to that. The first opportunity is Sunday against Dundee. They've had a managerial change and their last couple of results haven't been too bad, so it'll be another tough opponent for us. We've just got to show people that we react positively to this in the same way to every other challenge we've had this year. The last time Celtic lost in Europe we went on a 17-game unbeaten run that included 16 wins, so you can see Postacogler's point. He doesn't expect his team to deviate from the path they are on now despite a brutal night in Europe. The players can't take Dundee lightly on Sunday. Supporters will again make their way to Celtic Park and will assuredly remind them of their responsibilities. Three points in the Scottish Premiership gets us back on track in the short term, with European adventures the prize next season for domestic dominance. But is that enough for Celtic fans? One last story, Celtic legend Scott Brown has emerged as a shock contender for the St Mirren job if Jim Goodwin completes the switch to Aberdeen. What do you think of that? Good move for Bruni. On that note have a great day Celtic fans. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up.